September is fast approaching and there are so many cozy games releasing in September. This might even be busier than last September when we had a bunch of games releasing all on the same day. But let's talk about all the releases coming in September I'm most looking forward to. And before we start, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Come and join the Jellybean family. Now let's get straight into the video. I'm going to try and do these in release order. So first up, we have Criticove. I recently featured Criticove in a cozy gaming list for games I'm excited for coming this year. And now it's finally the month of its release. Criticove sees you on deserted, rundown, post-apocalyptic island paradise, where you'll need to restore the old town, sail across a mysterious archipelago, hunt relics, farm, fish, and craft everything you need. Your job is to help make this island a thriving tourist attraction once again. I've been looking forward to this game since playing the demo last year here on the channel and I'm so excited it's finally going to be ready to play in early access. I love exploring and collecting in games and added in with building up the town to attract tourists plus farming and meeting a range of fun and quirky characters. I'm definitely going to enjoy every part of this game. I can just feel it. Criticove is due to release in early access on Steam on September 10th and release on PS5 and Xbox early next year. Our next game is Murfwood. Murfwood is an enchanting RPG life sim. Fleeing a continent swept with war, your arrival in the new land provides a fresh start where you need to immerse yourself in a medieval fantasy world where you get to choose who you want to be. In this beautiful hand-drawn world, you get to build a farm, plant and harvest crops, rear animals and upgrade facilities to craft items and gear, explore an open world comprised of six diverse regions and three distinct towns with so much more to discover. You'll need to take up a sword or ready a bow in real-time combat fighting off various enemies. You'll need to embark on quests, encounter dynamic events and investigate mysteries across the world as well as meeting and befriending or insulting any NPC you meet to unlock new social interactions as your relationship grows. I would say this game is definitely not one for younger gamers. It does have some dark and spooky themes to it, but it's perfect game for this upcoming spooky season. If you are unsure, there is a demo currently still available on Steam if you'd like to check out the game before you buy it, but Murfwood will be releasing on Steam on the 11th of September. Perfect, because that's my birthday. I hope you're ready for the 12th of September because there are not one, not two, not three, but four games releasing on this one day. And first up, we have Rika. Rika sees you starting up your life as a witch and traveling through Central Europe's nature with your cottage. You'll be roaming forests and swamps while collecting plants, crafting magical supplies for villagers, and customizing your very own ever-growing home. By the way, did I mention your home has chicken legs? Rika is an atmospheric base building game set in the late 19th century rural Europe. You'll need to collect magical and mundane ingredients in forests, fields, and swamps. You'll be crafting medicine and magical supplies to heal and aid local villagers, whilst expanding your fantastical home and making it yours by decorating and customizing. And as you progress through the lands, you unlock new crafting stations, furniture, and decorations. I've been very intrigued by this game for the longest time, and I myself love crafting and decorating. That's always been one of my favorite things to do in games. And this one honestly feels so truly unique and different to any others that I've played before, so I'm very excited. I can't wait to pick up Rika on the 12th of September, and this game will be only available on Steam. Next game is a brand new release for consoles and it is called Fabledom. Fabledom was originally only on Steam but is finally coming to PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. Fabledom is a very laid back city builder. If you're someone who's always wanted to play a city building game but you've been put off by all the confusing menus and charts then Fabledom will be the perfect game for you. I think this game is a perfect starting point for anyone wanting to try city building games. This game offers enough challenges though for even experienced city builders so don't be put off by that. Don't be put off by what I said because honestly you're still going to have so much fun and have a blast playing this crazy little game. The game has a huge fantasy element to it. You'll encounter flying pigs, mythical creatures and it's just such a charming game. Also if you don't fancy playing with restrictions like money and progression for upgrades and time and things like that you can always play sandbox mode and just build to your heart's content now i've played this on steam but i'm probably going to check it out on console as well when it releases on the 12th of september our third game releasing on the 12th of september is garden witch life in garden witch life you'll play as an adorable little witch from the big city who just lost her job life didn't go as expected but you decided to start anew on a tiny island of possibilities you'll be growing your own magical garden decorating your ancient treehouse caring for cute creatures and 
and making lots of new friends along the way. In your house, you'll be able to cook up delicious new recipes using your homegrown ingredients and become a part of a wonderful community by working together to make the tiny island thrive. This game is definitely going to be one of those feel good cozy games to relax with in the evening. I love the cutesy art style of the game and all the characters just seem so unique and full of personality. I can't wait to decorate my own little treehouse home and cook up some delicious meals when the game releases on the 12th of September on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. And the last game that we know of is being released on the 12th of September as of the point of this recording is Chef RPG. In Chef RPG you play as a young chef given the task of reviving a once famous restaurant in White Ash Harbour. You begin your new life in the beautiful seaside town which was once a thriving tourist destination. You'll need to hunt, harvest and shop for ingredients and along the way befriend fascinating locals and help revive the town to a tourist hotspot. Will you become a master chef and create the most delicious dishes for your customers or maybe you want to be a brave adventurer and impress your customers with rare ingredients? With over 20 plus characters to befriend and romance this game will have hours of gameplay and lots to do to keep you busy every in-game day. I know there's been a lot of hype around this game for such a long time so I have very high expectations for it so I can't wait for this game to release in early access on Steam September 12th. This game will be coming to consoles at a later date. Now if you thought that was it and that you'd be getting a breather for the rest of the month, think again. Because Next up is Plucky Squire. Plucky Squire follows the magical adventures of Jot and his friends, storybook characters who discover a three-dimensional world outside the pages of their book. When the malevolent Hump Grump realizes he's the villain of the book, destined to lose his battle against the forces of good, he kicks the heroic Jot out of its pages and changes the story forever. Jot must face challenges unlike anything he's ever seen if he is to save his friends from Hump Grump's dark forces and restore the book's happy ending. I not only love the art style of this game but also the fun silly storyline and i love the fact that we'll be able to jump between the 2d and 3d world to solve puzzles box badges fly with a jetpack and just enjoy what looks like a very chaotic world full of surprises the plucky squire is available on the 17th of september on pc playstation xbox and nintendo switch we once again have a day with two amazing game releases but first up is the highly anticipated Tiny Glade. Tiny Glade is a relaxing game about doodling castles. You will be exploring gridless building chemistry and watch the game carefully assemble every brick, pebble and plank. There is no management, combat or wrong way to play this game. You just sit back and turn the forgotten meadows into lovable dioramas. This is definitely the most relaxing and cozy game on this list. I know the cozy community are going to come up with so many stunning and unique designs. What I love most about the demo when I played it was just how easy it was to create something so stunning with what seemed like limited tools. I really like dragging my path through some walls that I had laid out and it created a door or an archway. Honestly, this game is so creative. Everything in this game is movable and changeable. The window, the door, buildings, lights, pathway, land and everything you see. Honestly, it's going to be so good and I can't wait for it to release on Steam on the 23rd of September. Now, if you're a fan of platforms and Disney, you're going to love this next release. This is Epic Mickey Rebrushed. Epic Mickey Rebrushed is a remake of the once released Epic Mickey platform game. In this game, you play as Mickey Mouse on an epic journey through Wasteland, a realm of forgotten Disney characters. As Mickey will need to dive into the fantastical world armed with a magical paintbrush, you'll need to paint to create and use thinner to alter the world around you. On your adventures, you encounter various iconic characters like Oswald the Lucky Rabbit Habit as you travel through various lands in the wasteland. There are virtual Disney pins to collect, creative challenges to tackle, and many secrets to uncover throughout your journey, all while exploring classic platforming levels inspired by animated Disney films and shorts. I love platforming games. I grew up playing games like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, and Croc, so I'm very excited for this one. It reminds me so much of those amazing classics. I never got the chance to play the original Epic Mickey, so I'm going into this with fresh eyes, not knowing what to expect, and I can't wait for the game to release on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch on the 23rd of September. 
So you might be thinking we're nearly done with the list since we're now hitting the end of the month. We still have some real hard hitters for the last few days and we will start with Bloomtown. Bloomtown, a different story, is a narrative JRPG mixing turn-based combat, monster taming and social RPG elements set in seemingly pleasant 1960s Americana world. You play as Emily and her younger brother, Chester, sent on the summer holiday to their grandpa's cosy quiet town. But it may not all be that quiet. Children are starting to to disappear and nightmares are starting to feel more real. Something is not quite right, especially for a 12 year old girl with an adventurous mind. It is up to you to solve the mystery and free Bloomtown and its inhabitants from glooming fate. This game is just screaming Stranger Things vibes to me and it's about time we had something to take the place of a weird, demon, mysterious, cozy, pixelated style game. I hope you like my new category. I do. Anyway, this fun looking game arrives on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Switch on the 24th of September and I can't wait to play it. Now before we get to our last game of the month, I wanted to add this game into the list because I couldn't find a date anywhere but it does say September this year and it is called Copycat. When there has been an update for the game date, I will pop it in the description down below. Copycat is a narrative driven game about rejection, belonging and the true meaning of home. You follow the story of an adorable newly adopted cat named Dawn who became the victim of an elaborate plan when a jealous stray copycat steals her place in the household and she's forced to live on the streets. You'll be wandering alleyways, fences and rooftops as you learn about the true meaning of home. The cozy reflective pacing of the game allows you the opportunity to indulge in the emotions of love, loneliness and letting go as you progress through the story. This game will definitely be pulling on the heartstrings, I can guarantee that and I'll 100% be crying by the end of it, I just know it. When the game releases this September on PC PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. And now the last game, but certainly not least, on this crazy cozy game list for September is The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. You play as Zelda, helping the people of Hyrule who are being stolen away by strange rifts that have appeared and with Link amongst those missing, it is up to the princess to save the kingdom. Team up with the mysterious fairy Tri and use the power of the Tri Rod to learn how to create echoes, imitations of things found in the environment. You can create these echoes wherever you you like to solve puzzles and defeat different enemies along your journey. It's so lovely to see Princess Zelda getting her own game on Nintendo Switch. We recently saw Princess Peach getting the same treatment with her very own game. I'll admit it, I was unsure at first when I saw this one at the Direct. I was like, mm, not too sure about this one just yet. I did see some footage a couple of weeks ago and I have now decided I want to play it and I pre-ordered it. It's very easy honestly for me to go on and on about this game because there's so much to it but I'll just keep it very short and sweet. I love the art style. I love that we get to play Zelda and I love the creativeness of the tri rod to help you get your way through the lands instead of having a sword and a shield like we used to have with Link in the previous games. Anyway, Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is releasing on Nintendo Switch on the 26th of September. So there it is. It's an incredibly busy September once again. There is also such a variety of different games coming this month that all feel incredibly unique in their own way. It's definitely going to be hard to choose which ones I want. It looks like it's going to be an expensive month. But anyway, let me know down below which of these games are you most excited for. And if I've missed any, let me know in the comments too. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this cozy games for September list. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already come and join the jellybean family i hope you have the most loveliest of days and i will see you in my next one goodbye